make that spare. J.B. Blaylock challenges our spare maker, Bud Hodson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny Johnston. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, for those of you who might be watching our show for the first time, Make That Spare presents two of America's top professional bowlers in a unique match of five frames of difficult spares. The winning bowler receives $1,000 and gets a shot at the sweepstakes spare. Now, we have five of those, and before the show, the bowlers flip the coins, and we come out with these in five, in, in, the, in order, five of them. And, of course, the five spares came up in this order tonight. Number one is the 47910. Number two is the 4710. Number three is the 6710. Number four is the 67910. And number five is the 67810. Now, the number of spares the winning bowler makes during the match itself will determine which one of these five spares he'll shoot at for the big money. For instance, if the winning bowler makes three spares in the match itself, he'll shoot at number three. If he makes four, he'll shoot at number four, number five, so forth. Tonight, the sweepstakes spare, due to Mr. Hodson's accuracy last week, is back to $5,000. And tonight's match is between, said Bud Hodson from Pomona, California, And his challenger, a young, talented bowler from El Paso, Texas, J.B. Blaylock. <laughs> to determine which one of these bowlers is to shoot first, we flip a coin. The winning, the one who flip, wins the flip gets the choice. Bud Hodgson won the toss, chose to go first. So Bud Hodgson shooting at the 2, 4, 5, and 8, a 25-point spare. There are five spares. This is the first. Good ball, but he chops and leaves the five pin. That can happen. And so he has no points, and the door opens wide for the challenging bowler from El Paso, Texas. J.B. Blaylock made a great showing in the professional bowlers tour the last couple of years, and because of his accomplishments, has been invited to make that spare. He threw the same kind of ball, but he got away with it. 25 to nothing in favor of the challenger. Bud Hodgson now on the top of the second frame. Another 25-pointer, the 1247. This, of course, is the result of throwing the ball and not getting up to the head pin. And you'll leave this a lot of times. So let's see what Bud would do if he left it. Throws it out. Good ball. Scores tied. 25 apiece, but of course, Blaylock has his shot at this one, two, four, and seven. Bud Hodson is on the show tonight, I think for the fifth straight time. He's defending. He won $12,000 last week. It's a good week's pay, isn't it? JB out there, good ball. He's got it. So, no, he's still alive for the extra $1,000 if he makes all five. Bud Hodson now on the top of the third frame. The challenger is leading by 25 points. Bud, very aware of that. Shooting at the 4-5. Small split. Got to fit the ball right in between. Drops it a little bit, and it doesn't take, and he leaves the four pin, and he still has 25 points, and now... Blaylock, not only with a 25-point lead, but gets one shot at this 50-pointer. He can build himself up a 75-point lead. Have a little extra time tonight so the boys can concentrate a little bit more. Is that good? We'll see. Good ball, good ball, good ball. Beautiful. All right. J.B. Blaylock, the challenger, leading by 75 points. Here's another 50-pointer, the washout, the 1, 2, 4, and 10. Wants to slide that head pin over to pick out that 10. And Bud Hodson trailing by 75 points. So, dries his hand.
Bats out there. Good ball. Beautiful. All right. Score is 100 to 75, and Blaylock gets this shot. He's got a 25 point lead, and he's shooting at this 50 pointer. So, but now the fifth frame looms as important. Because even if he makes this, he has a 75 point lead, but he could lose in the fifth. Ball. All right. J.B. Blaylock now has 150, and he has made all four, and he is leading by 75 points. And Bud Hobson now must make the 5-7 in order to put the pressure on his challenger. Bud Hobson shooting at the 5-7, 100-pointer. Blaylock has a perfect game going for him. Just got a little bit too much of the five bin. Wait a minute, the match is over, but Blaylock, who has made all four spares so far, gets this shot for another $1,000. He's won the match. He's gonna get a shot at the sweepstakes spare for $5,000, and so he gets this extra shot at the 5-7 to make another $1,000. All right. This can be a $7,000 payday for J.B. Blaylock of El Paso, Texas. And if he misses this, it can be a $6,000 payday. Got it out too far and he knew it and... The winning bowler, J.B. Blaylock making four spares and winning the match, and gee, I got a little excited there myself, and he made four of them, that means that he'll shoot at number four, which is the six, seven, nine, ten split, and it's worth $5,000. The winning bowler, J.B. Blaylock, won the match, bowled beautifully, and now gets one shot for another $5,000 at the very unusual split, the six, seven, nine, ten. There's two ways to make this. That six pin can carry off of the nine pin, sliding over and taking out the seven, or it can slide the nine pin across. So he's got two ways to make it. This is by far the easiest split, split of the five. He gets a chance at $5,000. Watch closely. Very deliberate bowler. And it paid off tonight. Looky here, looky here. Oh, no, almost, almost. <laughs> Excellent. Great, that was close, I thought you had it. I thought I had it, yeah, it looked good. Yeah, Bud? Looked real good. Bud, I, I said, during the match, I said we had a little extra time for the match tonight, and I wanted to see if it would really pay off, and you bowled beautifully, JB, just great. And Bud, this is, I think, your fifth or sixth week on the show, and the excitement I forgot to count but it's great having you on the show, bud, and I have to give you the loser's share for the first time tonight, and we want to thank you for being on Spare and hope to see you again soon. Enjoyed being here, John. Thanks a lot. Good. Now, wait a minute. Don't go away. Here's the, the loser's share. Put that away. Uh, JB, here is $1,000 for... I almost gave you an extra 1000 tonight. This is the five. I'll have to put that back in the kick, yeah, and we'll okay, the try again for next year. <laughs> All right. Well, you got, you got next week, anyhow. Uh, now, wait a minute. Uh, Bud, you last week, in a very exciting show, uh, after tying two weeks in a row, came back the third week, won the match against your opponent last week, and uh, made 3,000, and then got up and made a beautiful split. What was it, this six... Uh, Six seven nine ten. Six seven nine Four, ten. Seven. Four seven nine ten. And made an extra nine thousand, and you made twelve thousand dollars. That's real nice. I enjoyed right. it. Huh? What the wife think of that? She thought it was very good. You want? To, I I've got to tell you this. Do you mind, JB? I want to uh, on your time because you were the hero tonight. But I want to say this. Uh, Bud said to me last week after it was over, and he had won the twelve thousand dollars, which everyone has, even. Uh, H.L. Uh, uh, Hunt has to call that a good week's pay. But uh, he said, you know, maybe now my wife will realize that I can make a living being a bowler. He said, 
He said, up until now, she said, oh, you bowl, you play a game, but now maybe, uh, maybe it's different, huh? I think she thinks so. A L- little bit more? Let's hope so, anyway. Huh? Bud, uh, great seeing you. Hope to see you real soon. Bud Hodson, ladies and gentlemen. J.B., this is your first time on the show, isn't it? That's right. I ask you that, and I know that you haven't been on when I was on, but there was a, a nine-month period that I was not on the show when it came from another place, and so I always have to make sure. Uh, do you mind my asking what J.B. stands for? Uh, that's my name, huh? Is it really? Any other name, right. The initial. Initials only. I'll be there. Well, it's great seeing you on the show, bowling so well. Oh, thank you. And on uh, the fifth spare, the 5-7, you almost picked up another big one. I guess I got there a little quick. Yeah, dropped it a little bit. Well, I got the, up there, up to the foul line, just a little bit ahead of the ball. All right, you are from El Paso. That is your home. Well, uh, right now my home is in Clovis, New Mexico. Oh, yeah. This is where my folks live. I see. And uh, this is more or less my mailing address. Are you married? No, I'm not. You're single? Yes. Oh. Well, if there's any young lady who thinks that there's money in bowling, maybe. <laughs> uh, J.B., we hope to see you again soon on Make That Spare. And uh, when you get back to Texas, would you tell the folks in Texas that we on Make That Spare love them? Because I tell you that I think that state is a gas. Thank you very much. I really uh, enjoyed it every time. Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, all over the place. This is a real good part of the country, I believe. J.B., we'll see you next week. Thank you very much, Johnny. J.B. Blaylock. (laughs) Next week, our spare maker, J.B. Blaylock, will face the challenge of another great bowler from Akron, Ohio, the famous Dick Hoover on Make That Spare right after the fight of the week next Friday night, but promises to be an exciting 10-round middleweight contest between Jose Torres and Wilbur Skeeter McClure. Until then, Johnny Johnston saying good night, everyone. Challenges our spare maker, Bud Hodson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny Johnston. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, for those of you who might be watching our show for the first time, Make That Spare presents two of America's top professional bowlers in a unique match of five frames of difficult spares. The winning bowler receives $1,000 and gets a shot at the sweepstakes spare. Now, we have five of those, and before the show, the bowlers flip the coins, and we come out with these in five, in, the, in order, five of them. And, of course, the five spares came up in this order tonight. Number one is the 4, 7, 9, 10. Number two is the 4, 7, 10. Number three is the 6, 7, 10. Number four is the six, seven, nine, ten. Fifth straight time. He's defending. He won $12,000 last week. It's a good week's pay, isn't it? JB out there. Good ball. He's got it. So, he's still alive for the extra $1,000 if he makes all five. Bud Hodson now in the top of the third frame. The challenger is leading by 25 points. Bud, very aware of that. Shooting at the 4-5. Small split. Got to fit the ball right in between. Drops it a little bit, and it doesn't take, and he leaves the 4-pin, and he still has 25 points. And now, Blaylock, not only with a 25-point lead, but gets one shot at this 50-pointer. He can build himself up a 75-point lead. Have a little extra time tonight so the boys can concentrate a little bit more. Is that good? We'll see. And number five is the six, seven, eight, ten. Now the number of spares the winning bowler makes during the match itself will determine which one of these five spares he'll shoot at for the big money. For instance, if the winning bowler makes 
three spares in the match itself, he is shooting a number three. If he makes four, he's shooting a number four, number five, so forth. Tonight, the sweepstakes spare, due to Mr. Hodson's accuracy last week, is back to $5,000. And tonight's match is between, said Bud Hodson from Pomona, California, and his challenger, a young, talented bowler from El Paso, Texas, J.B. Blaylock. To determine which one of these bowlers is to shoot first, we flip a coin. The winning, the one who flip, wins the flip gets the choice. Bud Hodgson won the toss, chose to go first. So Bud Hodgson shooting at the two, four, five, and eight, a 25 point spare. There are five spares. This is the first. Good ball, good ball, good ball, beautiful. All right. J.B. Blaylock, the challenger, leading by 75 points. Here's another 50-pointer, the washout, the one, two, four, and 10. Wants to slide that head pin over to pick out that 10. And Bud Hodson trailing by 75 points. So, dries his hand. That's out there, good ball. Beautiful. All right, score is 100 to 75, and Blaylock gets this shot. He's got a 25 point lead, and he's shooting at this 50 pointer, so. But now, the fifth frame looms as important. Because even if he makes this, he has a 75 point lead, but he could lose in the fifth. Good ball, but he chops and leaves the five pin. That can happen. And so he has no points, and the door opens wide for the challenging bowler from El Paso, Texas. J.B. Blaylock made a great showing in the professional bowlers tour the last couple of years, and because of his accomplishments, has been invited to make that spare. He threw the same kind of ball, but he got away with it. 25 to nothing in favor of the challenger. Bud Hodgson now on the top of the second frame. Another 25-pointer, the one, two, four, seven. This, of course, is a result of throwing the ball and not getting up to the head pin. And you'll leave this a lot of times. So let's see what Bud would do if he left it. Throws it out. Good ball. Score is tied. 25 apiece, but of course, Blaylock has his shot at this one, two, four, and seven. Bud Hodson is on the show tonight, I think, for the...